comrades of the Soviet Union. We are, of course, defending against the Afghan army here, uh, or I should say, not the Afghan army, the Iranian army with uh, actually Afghan Mujahideen in tow. We're going to see if we can defend, as you can see, the enemy tanks, the uh, actual um, uh, chieftain tanks that the enemy has have longer range than our tanks. It's absolutely annoying, but we have won two battles today, which we didn't think we'd win. So let's hope we can win this one too. On to battle, my friends. Well, ladies and gents, it looks like the long and short of it is we are two hamburgers short of a Happy Meal, uh, quite frankly. At this point, we have one, two, three, four tanks. That's it. We've got four tanks. One is defending Lament Sector. The other one is defending Celestine. And the other one is defending uh, Liminate 2, I believe. Uh, and I hope we do well, but honestly, the odds are, quite frankly, very much against us, guys. We're going to try our best, and hopefully we can hold our own against this invasion. We've done so well today. If we could just wrap it up with one more victory, uh, things would go extremely well. And we're not in a position where we can lose tanks very often. Okay, let's get right down to it, boys. Okay, guys, we now have the first enemy contact. So it looks like they're popping up over here, and it looks like infantry. Now, as far as I know, we don't really have any men in this sector, except for um, one guy, and actually more enemy contact. Oh, my goodness. Now we're actually starting to see enemy APCs. There we go. Shuleyev is actually opening fire, guys, on the enemy APC here. I want to take a quick look here. We are under enemy fire. No shit. And there we go. Actually, one APC hit by Shuleyev. Let's see if he can get killed, too, here. Come on, Shuleyev. No, I need you to aim at the APC, son. Let's go aim over here. Uh, looks like we got a commander killed and a vehicle lost. It's seemingly out of nowhere. It looks like there's going to be some guys coming from Cyrus, too. We've got to be very, very careful here. Let's take a look at what's going on on this side. Shulev is definitely firing back, but obviously losing that uh, guy. And look at all the enemy troops on the way here, guys. We've got some more enemy contact over here. And actually, I almost want to consolidate our forces now and bring them all to one spot. Because I know that we've got enemy tanks over here. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do something a little unprecedented. And I'm going to hunt in this direction with this unit, guys. Uh, and try to at least kill a shit ton of these enemy APCs. Let's move forward for the Red Army. And for Shemink, I will actually have him hunt this way. Obviously, on this terrain, it's not easy to move for our tanks. I mean, they are definitely made for de desert movement, but all of these hills, etc., it doesn't make things easy for us, guys. And there we go. We can set targets. Come on. You can do this, Trashin. There we go. There's a shot. You just got to kill as many of these enemy APCs as possible. Let's take a look at that flank. Doesn't look like much is happening, and it looks like, actually, uh, Shuleya was able to take out that other APC. So let's hope we don't have any other issues for a while. Come on, boys. There we go. One APC down. For Mother Russia, we will set targets once again. And imagine if we could at least take out an enemy position, um, even with the fact that they have way more men than us at this point. And there we go, another hit on an APC. I don't know if it's a direct hit. We're going to watch this from the enemy perspective, and indeed it is. Look at that, guys. Wonderful. The Red Army, is it bouncing back? I don't know. Too early to tell, but certainly things are going well. And that, the guys in that APC must be absolutely terrified. We have more enemy contacts. I don't want to look at them now. I just want these guys to hit their targets. There we go. Good shot. We just missed that shot. Uh, but it was a direct hit, of course. And we've got three enemy APCs completely um, destroyed. Now, as we can see, the tanks are coming this way. So we're going to send our tank army to hunt in this direction. Uh, one thing we've learned from uh, one of our more military savvy users, which is pretty awesome, is that the uh, actual chieftain tanks the enemy is using um, have stronger frontal armor and longer range and this is because the western government has been supplying ammunition and munitions to the enemy clearly not a good thing we're under fire okay Semenkin. i'm actually happy you are under fire it means that you're doing your job as you can see he's out of range right now until we actually see him as totally blue like this um he will be out of range i'm gonna spot him anyway wow whoa Semenkin! if you got that hit man you deserve a fucking metal. Did you guys see that shot? I don't know if it was a hit, but it looked like a hit, to be honest with you. Another hit. No, definitely wasn't a kill, but it really may have been a hit, guys. And I'm going to keep hunting in this direction. It looks like us being on the offensive on the enemy is actually much more uh, confusing to them than defense. Uh, every time we seem to try to defend against these guys, their range wastes us. So we're going to try to go on the offense entirely uh, to kill this chieftain. 
And there we go, we've got more APCs as well as some anti-tank guns. Not good, guys. Actually, we just saw an explosion at Illuminite. But that was actually one of the tanks we've already lost. I'm just going to take a look at one of these force commanders and see if we can do anything in terms of artillery. Uh, no artillery support as far as I can see, but I want to get closer. And actually, I'm going to pause here because I don't want you guys to miss any of the action. No artillery there. No artillery here either. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and I'm actually going to grab Givziod. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably not. Uh, and we're going to send him over here to Cyrus 6 as well as Shudeyev, who's actually done a really great job here. And let's start the battle again, my friends. Now, Shudeyev is actually almost out of fuel. Um, this is one of the reasons that we have a fuel truck in this particular army, and we need to start using it eventually. Uh, here we go, Shemenkin. Beautiful, guys. That is a dead Iranian tank in the, uh, off in the, uh, in the distance, if you could spot it. And we're going to go ahead and start setting targets here. I'm actually going to watch Shemenkin and see how he does his business. Got more enemy contacts. We will check them out. But for now, we are focusing on Shemenkin. Nice shot, Shemenkin. That's beautiful. You actually saw the cartridge pop out of the back. Uh, the loader dropping the cartridge, of course, out of the back of the tank. Let's see if we can set some more targets. Shemenkin, don't stop shooting, my friend. Glorious shot. That was a glorious shot. Definitely a hit. Uh, not sure if it was a kill, but Shemenkin seems pretty confident. Let's take a look at the enemy contact over here. Beautiful. So the enemy contact's actually still happening ahead of us. Come on, boys. Yes, good shooting, Shemenkin. Good shooting. He's looking over here to the left. I'm not sure why. It worries me a little bit. But we are moving towards enemy positions, and he just fired. What was he firing at? Is it possibly another enemy APC? I don't know. All right, so we've got some enemy infantry over here, and actually, is this possibly an ATGM team? No, I don't think so. Still, uh, it's good to see where these guys are so that we can spot them in the future, and so far, I mean, we're doing exceptionally well. I don't want to jinx myself quite yet. There we go, yet another enemy target. A lot of enemy targets over here, actually, a lot of infantry targets. <clears throat> and Shuleyev, unfortunately, completely out of fuel. Uh, otherwise, you know, he would be doing really well. But until we get some reinforcements uh, for fuel, or I should say some resources, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. And there we go, Shulev already using that machine gun to waste those drivers. We're under fire again. Don't tell me that. Givjod is under fire, and I don't want him to be. Bit too late for that, though. And that's definitely the sound of an anti-tank rifle. Almost certainly. There we go. That's a hit. That is a hit with an anti-tank rifle, without a doubt, guys. Or an AT gun. Um, they just knocked a piece of side plating off uh, my tank. And thankfully, it's still alive. But wow, have we done a lot of damage to the enemy. Let's get over here. Wow, some Incan and Shystin. All of these guys are dealing with a whole bunch of enemy infantry units. We have taken Cyrus too, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and open up. If you guys don't surrender, consider yourselves dead. Very simply. And even if you do surrender, you're going to have to deal with a little bit of, uh, how we say, interrogation, my friends. So there we go. We're opening fire on a bunch of Mujahideen warriors over here. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, assault in this direction. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Shemenkin. This guy's going to get, uh, absolutely going to get a cross, or not a cross, a, a Red Army banner. I, I don't know what the damn name of the medal is. Uh, Hero of the Red Army, that's what it is. Uh, he's going to get one because he's doing an amazing job. He's wasted a number of APCs. He's hit a tank from what seems like 1.5 kilometers away. This guy's a, this guy's a pro. Um, now let's keep hunting in this direction. And also we have to keep in mind, look at that. Another enemy tank in the distance. So I'm actually going to send these two guys this way. And we still have a ton of enemy troops, guys. It's like never-ending amounts of enemies. But the more of them we kill, uh, the better our chances are at victory, believe it or not. Shemenkin getting more enemy contact, and again, mostly infantry units. That tank is still off in the distance, but the closer he gets, the more concerned I get, of course. Uh, let's see. Givjod and Shulayev. I'm going to see if they can set target on the tank. Whoa, commander killed. We just got a hit, and it looks like Shystin is down. 
not good. Um, I'm hoping Koshchov can spot the enemy tank, but again, at that range, it makes our job a lot harder. Shamenkin, our favorite. What are you going to do now, you crazy Russian bastard? I don't want you to get too close to the enemy. Hunt this way, hunt this way, buddy. We don't want these guys to get any ET rounds off on us. That's what I'm talking about. Use that machine gun. Beautiful. We're just going to sort of do a little turn around and keep moving back. And maybe we can get this enemy tanker um, in the back, actually, behind us. Let's go ahead and hunt. All right, I, I already see the enemy. Uh, I'm going to set target. I'm going to do the same with Kozlov, but remember, Kozlov is moving across pretty rough terrain here. So I'm not sure how effective he's going to be. Come on, Kozlov. We need another hero. All right, that's a shot, guys. At least we're getting shots off for sure. That's another shot. Is it possible we actually took this guy out? I don't know. Um, but I'm happy with the progress. Now, so far, what I'm not happy with is the fact that despite having a lot of infantry in this sector, um, <clears throat> the enemy infantry presence over here continues. So what I'm going to do, I'm getting a little annoyed. That's it, guys. I'm hunting. We're going to go for it. Uh, we're going to take Cyrus and uh, overrun this position with our infantry and our tanks and hopefully waste this enemy tank. It looks like Semenshkov is actually fighting with him. And look at that. Three enemy tanks now. Three, guys. This is where the battle turns in the enemy's favor. Um, we're going to take a look here. Hopefully we have something we can do to uh, really overwhelm them. And actually, I think moving Shuleyev over here is a good idea. There we go. There's some panic. And the commander's killed. That's most certainly our glorious friend. No, Shabenkin. Oh, you were a good man, but you are dead. You fought bravely for the Red Army, though. And again, um... I don't think a loss would be good in this scenario at all. It really doesn't matter how many enemies we kill. But obviously, if we do lose, uh, it's, it's in our best interest to kill as many enemies as possible. Remember that we have a limited number of tanks. Whereas the enemy seem to have an endless supply of, uh, of American tanks, British tanks, etc. Uh, that's a little unnerving, to say the least. Alright, Kozlov is finished. This is the problem with having limited range. As you can see, they're actually pulling out of the vehicle. Uh, our assault is continuing, though. On uh, Cyrus. And I'm not stopping. A lot of APCs here. Armored. Personnel carriers, of course. And some of these may have AT abilities. Come on, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Overwhelming firepower. There we go. Another enemy down. We're going to keep moving. And there we go. Look at that tank army, guys. That is ridiculous. The fact that we don't actually have uh, any sort, um, any sort of, uh, of, of artillery this battle is what really annoys me. Because they've, they're clustered so poorly um, that if we were just able to get a few shots off uh, with artillery, we could do a lot of damage here. Set targets. Gotta try to hit some of these enemy tanks. Actually, this guy technically could take out an enemy tank. Um, whether or not he's gonna get in range to do it is another story. Okay, already some gunfire and probably infantry units over here that are uh, causing some issues. In fact, there are still a few. Um, so let's actually take these guys. I'm going to hunt with this tank as well in this direction. And right now, it's really just us versus the enemy tanks. It's that simple. I'm just going to have him set target on one enemy tank. If he could just take out one, that'll make me happy. More enemy contact. Well, of course there's more enemy contact. That tank is moving forward on us. Uh, the damn chieftain. There we go. Givjot is still able to fire, guys. That's a good sign. Shuleyev, I don't know what his deal is. Um, if he's just being insubordinate or if he has been betrayed uh, and is working with the Iranians. I, I doubt that. But still, uh, the fact that these guys can't hit this target is annoying me. 
Come on, guys. We need at least one of these enemy tanks. There we go. That tank's still firing. A few shots from our guys, of course. I believe our guys in the APC are out at this point. And there we go. It looks like even the machine gunners are opening fire. I, I don't know if any of these guys have an AP RPG or anything like that. Uh, that would be perfect if they did, but I think they actually have to wait until the enemy gets close. There's another shot! Come on, tanks! There's some, there's some nice little shots right there. Um, it looks like Bobby Chev is even shooting. That's another shot. Come on, guys. You can take these tanks out. Believe in yourselves. All right. Commander killed. We have lost another commander. What a surprise. And right now, we did take out an enemy tank, guys. He's over there. Uh, the problem is, of course, the enemy is just overwhelming us with a tank assault. These men will fight to the end for the Red Army, though. They shall not surrender until the very last step. We've still got some active shooters as well back here. And I want to see if we've got anyone else on the map that could help us. It looks like no, uh, but I'm not willing to surrender merely because we hold so much of the map. That might be a mistake later on. Don't get me wrong. Another vehicle lost, and sadly our opportunity there to take out more enemy tanks is over. Uh, but we did take out one of them. We took out a ton of enemy APCs which is going to hurt their infantry capabilities for sure. Uh, but the enemy absolutely overwhelmed us here. This was a major attack. Uh, practically the D-Day of the Mujahideen. Um, and we managed to kill a ton of the enemy, but just couldn't wrap up with a victory. It happens, guys. It does happen. All right. Those uh, chieftains look pretty deadly. And there we go, guys. It was actually a draw, which is not bad at all. Now, we definitely killed more of the enemy vehicles than they did of ours but the fact is that the vehicles that they killed were much more valuable uh, and that's a problem that's something we need to stop uh, we will take a look at the map after this just to see how things are going uh, and to plan our next moves what can i say so pretty interesting stuff that happened of course uh, and apparently i got a tank destroyer achievement that's fun um let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics here and I just want to take a look at the areas where we actually managed to kill a lot of the enemy. And as you can see, even over here, um, where we got some really great shots, the enemy had a ton of guys left. I mean, this is crazy. You know, we killed a lot, a lot excuse me, guys, killed a lot of them. Obviously, that's one of our, uh, that's Shemenkov, our great, glorious hero. And the very least I could say for him is his men died a very quick death. Um, that tank just completely exploded. Uh, but over here, look at this, guys. I mean, just tremendous hits on our on our end. Uh, on these vehicles and actually managed to pin a lot of the enemy down and a lot of apcs dead over here too but look at all the mujahideen uh, or in this case <clears throat> the iranian national guard soldiers um a revolutionary guard and this is one of the things i hate look at what he's armed with a damn rpg so even their infantry is capable of taking out our tanks if only our infantry were capable of the same thing i'd feel a lot safer in this battle uh, overall not the greatest battle let's see what we can do to remedy it all right guys that clearly created serious problems as you can see we've got a platoon defeated up here all i can really do at this point is end our turn um and at this point hope that i'm able to still move a little bit um i actually want to hit farid here with rezhenkov uh just because we really have no other choice and as for this area right here i'm going to defend it with my life uh, I'll go ahead and send a few more guys up. I'll actually switch to the machine gun because I just don't think it's going to be as effective. Uh, I might even try to attack the enemy. Is that possible? You know what? I might do it. Um, I think for now I'll just stay here and start digging in. And we'll try to break out of the pocket with these guys as quickly as we can. So we're going to have to make a last-ditch effort to break out of this pocket, uh, hopefully, uh, I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to. Now, thankfully, we have connected these two areas. That's somewhat better. Let me move this machine gunner here. And at this point, it's all about defense, my friends. We've taken Shah Baluk, which is a major, major objective. Uh, but unless we take at least one more objective, we've got another major objective over here. Unless we take at least one more objective, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, I'm actually even going to move up our mortar team, see if maybe our mortar team is willing to do some attacks. Why the hell not, right? I don't think he can do much to a tank, but maybe Rozhenkov can help him. And it looks like for this, we've got to wait four turns for the next guard's tank's guard uh, regiment. Uh, I don't even know if we can hold back the tide of Mujahideen as is, but we'll have to see, my friends. 
Um, and in fact, what I'm going to do, um, I've decided, we have been uh, attacking so far, and it's been working out very well. Um, our attacks are much more effective than our defense, so I've decided we're going on a major offensive here. Um, absolutely major offensive to try to take out enemy locations and ultimately pin the terrorist enemy down. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, etc. This is the casualty count so far. If you guys want to take a look, um, you could probably figure out which each things means. This means dead. We killed 957 enemies. Uh, this means slightly wounded. This means severely wounded that they can't return to battle. This is men captured. Um, and these, I believe, represent men missing or dead. I don't recall. Let's take a look. Uh, I guess I'll have to get back to you on that. Anyway, guys, right now the enemy definitely hold more victory points than us. 674 with our, to our 3037. We need some reinforcements or some new tactics soon uh, because this enemy is a tough one. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.